I want to do my unboxing of the Dream Cloud mattress, bed in the box. This is the basic mattress. Uh, the one above this is the Premier, but I decided to go with the Queen uh, base level. Um, this is how it came today. I ordered this last Sunday. Today's Friday, so it was delivered in a pretty reasonable amount of time. When I did purchase this, there was a bundle that came with it, which was uh, the mattress cover, two pillows, and sheets. So it looks like right here, I've got the bed bundle. My guess is that the mattress pad's in here along with the sheets, and I'll unopen that here shortly. But this box is heavy. There's handles on the side of the, the box here, which I'm by myself. I'm, I'm intending to do this by myself to prove that you can do it. Um, I do have a dolly left over. I don't know. I don't know where I got this from. Probably who knows. But anyways, um, I do have this dolly underneath here. My plan is to roll it down that hallway into the bedroom that I'm putting this in. So not absolutely necessary. I think maybe if you had carpet, it might be a little bit harder to drag it. But I do have hardwood floors here, so dragging this down there would be a heck of a lot easier. Um, but it's going to be more easy for me to do and manipulate this with this dolly. Now, the length on this platform isn't very long. What I ended up doing is tilting this up on end, like so, and then dropping that on there. And then to get it on wheels, I'm just going to have to lean this back along with the cart, and then I'll be able to roll this down. But um, this is how it came. And the box is a little damaged. I'll admit that, but um, it was raining all day today. So the UPS guy did deliver it to my porch. They put it on the porch, and it was not left out in the rain, which is good. So um, we'll see how this goes. I think this thing's probably wrapped. Yeah, I can feel through here that it's wrapped in another layer of plastic. So um, even if the box did get wet, I don't think it would hamper um, this. Insta it would hamper the mattress itself. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. It looks like I have a little help here. What I'm going to do is open this up. See what's in here. Yeah. So, when opening this up, know that there's another box inside here. So, if you have a real sharp knife, you're not cutting the sheets or something else. So, it is it is protected. So, it's kind of hard to do with the camera. But anyway, so here we go. So, it's a box inside a box. It's good to know. And let me get this out. So here's the box that was in that box. So no protection. So you flip it up open this way. And what you get is what's in the bundle. That's cool. And you get bag one, bag two. Yes, the pillows are in here. So they're all wrapped up in here. They're in a own little protective bag themselves. So that's kind of cool. So here's the mattress protector in its own little bag and a set of sheets. So it looks like the mattress cover is somewhat uh, quilted, which is good. And the sheets here, they feel very nice. Um, I'm gonna leave these in here until I get ready to make the bed. But uh, they feel really nice, nice and soft. So. Very nice packaging. So my little helper here is very interested in this, but put everything back um, the way it came. But it's very nice packaging, and everything's labeled, so there's no qu there should be no question of what's what. And uh, yeah. So. Well, it's Saturday, and I didn't do anything with the bed just because I was tired. It was Friday, and I got to take my bedroom apart. And I'll show you what I'm going to end up doing is I need to take this mattress and box spring off. I'm hoping to use this frame again. The rug's going away, got a new one coming, but that's gotta be pulled out. So all that's gonna be done now. This will become a spare bedroom mattress, but I'm not sure about this frame yet, whether I have to get a new one or not. So I'm in the process of dismantling everything. Oh, I get the mattress out of here. I am cleaning. And I'm really thinking it's time to really <laughs> deep clean ceiling fan and the bed frame everything now since I got everything out of here I might wait until the rug gets here I gotta check if it's shipped yet but if not I really want to get this bed set up don't you you want to set it up 
Yeah. Anyways. So I decided to wait till the rug comes along. So I think it'll be just too much of a job to get the rug back in here if the bed was set in here. So fans clean. clean. Anyways, deep clean your room before you do it. It'd be well worth it because right now this room smells really good. So I'll be back. So it's been about a week since I got my Dream Cloud mattress. However, I did get my rug, which is all set to go. And I got the room pretty much cleaned up. It's pretty echoey in here. But hopefully by putting mattress and some linens in here, we'll get this going. So I'm gonna open up this box. I'm gonna be extra careful. I'm hoping the directions are on top so I can get the, the correct cutter to open the bag that the mattress is in. So that's ought to be good. Let's see here. So, so this mattress sat all week in my living room and there were no off gassing at all from this box so I'm assuming that the mattress won't do that either so it's not like it was sitting in a warehouse rotting somewhere. Um, so here we go. New style. This is a queen and I'll dump this box upside down. Um, it did work out really nice to have this cart here to wheel it down the hallway. It was a little bit you gotta lean it to get on here and then lean it back because this it was pretty uh, weak. But anyways, I was able to get that box down here. So I'm gonna dump this over, get the mattress out, get it all situated, and open her up. All right, so I did lay it on the side and pulled it out. And here's the mattress right here. But in the bottom, this was the cutter that I'm looking for in this little layer right here. So I'll get that dumped. Letter opener, Dream Cloud. Um, a lot of videos saying you needed this to protect the mattress when you cut this bag over here. It is pretty tight and it's heavy. So let me get this box out of here and get this situated and we'll open her up. So in the packet, here is the cutter and simple instructions on how to cut it open and place it on the Mattress. So it suggests that you put it close to the bed or even lay it on there and open it up. I'm not sure this queen mattress, it looks like it's folded in half and then it will roll out. So that's not going to work. So I'm going to open it up here on the floor and then I believe it's got handles on it so I can pull it onto the bed frame. Everything should work out great. Um, so we'll see what happens. This thing is really tight. Um, it'll be interesting to watch. And it's all tacked up here. Kind of rolled up like a burrito. And then open it up, but it's all tacked down here. Um, not too bad. Everything looks good. I did not want to cut the box up in case I had to send it back. Not like I could get it back in the box, but I don't know if we need proof that I bought it. But anyways, so here. The mattress, there's the bottom of it right there. So I'll get this opened up. Okay, it seems like it's wrapped twice, the mattress itself. And then there's a wrapping here that I just took off and you can hear it expanding slowly. But anyway, so this one wrapper here and then you got one on the mattress. So I'll get this on the bed as it's slowly expanding and Follow up once that's done. So I got it opened up and it's got those little packets, silicone packets in it. And here's the bottom. So I gotta get this flipped over and on the mattress and then I'll cut off the bag. But it's, you know, slowly inflating, but not out of control. And you got time to get it on your, your bed frame. Okay. A little bit but I did get it on here so the really key is to get it orientated where the top is in the place where you can pull it up into the bed frame so it's expanding I haven't opened up the seal yet for the mattress itself but I'm gonna do that here shortly it does fit in this frame 
which is awesome. And I mean, it looks like all this plastic. No, it's two pieces, so that's good to know. So it's wrapped in plastic, and then it's got the bag that you have to cut that everyone talks about on their YouTube channels unboxing. And I will do that now. So, so far so good. Is it heavy? Yes. Can one person do it? Yes. Just take your time and have a plan. This room, I don't have much space here on that side to lay it out and drag it, but it worked out fine, so let me get this other piece done. I think someone thinks this is a dog bed. So what I ended up doing is cutting this way and then along the side here, and then I'm going to probably cut it down that way and open it up and then pull it through from the bottom. So anyways, this is not your bed. So yeah, and 15 inches, <laughs> I definitely have enough head, head, headroom. I've been considering and I just might do it is <coughs> order the adjustable bed frame. I did some measuring before I put this on there and yes, it will fit inside there. So we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna sleep on it for a while and see how it is. Emma, come on. So far, so good. Pretty much as they say, um, from all the videos I've watched prior to, to doing this, you know, it's going pretty good, so. So, we're about 15 minutes into it, and you can see the crease where it went down. There are handles here. And when I, <laughs> a friend of mine made me this bed frame and I was a little worried, you know, was it going to fit? Was the mattress going to be too big? But I'm kind of glad it's a little bit big, not so tight because I was, con I am considering getting the, the automatic adjusting bed frame, which when I did the measurements, if it's, <laughs> if I did it right, it will fit inside this frame without any cutting, no nothing. So... I think I will get that on order. Yeah, um, it's nice and soft, yes, as indicated. Um, it's a nice looking mattress and it feels pretty good. And we'll get the protector on. I did get two pillows in the sheets. Um, I got those right here. And, and one thing I was a little worried about was that because this mattress is 15 inches thick, like how, you know, you need more than one set of sheets for this mattress. And doing some research online, I did find there's a lot of companies that do have fitted sheets that can accommodate the 15 inch corner pockets. So that's a good thing and uh, made me feel better about this purchase. So I got the protect mattress protector on. It's very nice, it fits very well. Again, it's fitted. Um, on each end, there's a tag to tell you head or foot. And there's one up there. So that's very helpful. If you ever made beds and kind of figure out what's the top, bottom, or side. Especially on a queen bed. Because <laughs> the sides kind of seem like they're almost pretty close to being the same. But yeah. Um, very happy that all this came together. It just makes the whole process easy. Okay, so here are the pillows that come wrapped up like this. And a nice little little bag. Again, the same process as the mattress. Get your little handy dandy cutter. And find the area where you're not going to ding. The pillow. And open her up and she starts to expand. Yep, the pillow's got the same material that's on the mat. It seems like it, maybe not. With the cashmere on top. Pretty much like a pancake right now. Which, and they have a zipper cover, so that's good. So I'm assuming that the covers are washable, but it's pretty slick. And this one. On. One thing I, I would have to say when you open up this mattress, look for those silicone packets. So there were five in here. I ended up on the floor, but if you got pets and small children, I would make sure you look for those packets before you know you turn them loose in your house. Because you don't want nothing bad to happen to, to your family. And 
Pretty simple here. Open it up. Plant her out. Let her air out. And look already so far. I mean, she's coming to life. Look at the difference. And that was a couple minutes, so let her air out. And That's the plastic. It's fine. You got yourself a letter opener. So I will get the bed made. Um, I did wash the sheets. The sheets turned washed really well. They're white. You know how white goes over time. But um, living in the Midwest, the winter is coming. I'll be looking for a pair of flannel sheets for this bed. Um, and yeah, so far the process has been easy. Is it, been the way it was stated is it's true. Um, I'm not disappointed with anything right now. The shipping time was reasonable, came within a week. Um, it sat in the house for a week, no bad smells from that. No bad smells now. There's nothing, you can't smell anything. So that's a good thing. Sometimes when you open up the, uh, some beds or even those covers with the um, foam mattresses, it's just the stink is pretty bad for a while until it airs out, but there's none of that with this. So, um, so we'll keep along this process and I'll give you my thoughts overall here shortly. All right, so I got the bed made. The sheets fit really nice. Um, I'm not sure about whether I'm gonna put a box, my box spring on here or not, or get the adjustable, whatever. This is really low from what I'm used to. But I will sleep on it a couple nights and then probably do a part two about my overall um, impression of this mattress. But um, yeah, there's no off gassing at all. It's been in here for a few hours and everything fits good. The sheets are nice and been washed, a little wrinkly. Uh, the pillowcases fit the pillows perfectly. Um, I couldn't be happier. So, so far, so good. So that's where I'm at. So if you're thinking about getting the Dream Cloud mattress, uh, the whole process went really, really smooth, easy. Um, and I wouldn't be afraid of it. It is a firmer mattress. It's something that I wanted. I didn't want something that sucked me into it. And so far from just be laying on it, sitting on it, it is a firmer one, but not a rock firm. So um, we'll see how I sleep the next couple nights. But yeah, I'm happy. So we'll get the rest of the bedding on here and uh, give her a shot for the next couple nights. So thanks for watching. And if you got any questions, shoot them up. Anything, and I'll do the best I can to answer them. Peace.